All right, students. So it's quite easy to actually understand the two types of eclipse. We have lunar eclipse and we have solar eclipse. All right. For lunar eclipse, we have the sun, the earth, and the moon, all in a straight line. All right. And for the solar eclipse, we have the sun, the moon, and the earth in the straight line. So one way to remember is when we have lunar eclipse, we have S E M, sem. Okay, where the Earth is in the middle, the Earth is blocking the sun light from reaching the moon, so the moon cannot reflect back the sunlight. And when we have solar eclipse, we have the moon blocking the light from reaching the Earth. So some parts of the Earth here will experience solar eclipse. So for the solar eclipse, you have S M E. The moon is in the middle. So once you understand that in lunar eclipse the Earth is in the middle, and in solar eclipse the moon is in the middle, that way you will never get this wrong. You will understand that the lunar and solar eclipse. Eclipses happen because there was a blockage of sunlight. So in this case, you must remember the two properties of light: light travel in a straight line, and light cannot penetrate or pass through opaque object. So in this case, the opaque object, opaque objects don't allow light to go through. So in this case, the opaque object is Earth and Moon, where they block the sunlight. So when they block the sunlight, it creates a shadow region. That shadow region is also known as umbra. So this is the simpler way to understand the both eclipses, solar and lunar eclipses.